Welcome, this is Camilla Blossom with Earth School, and I'm super excited to uh, initiate this new free series I'm doing for Earth School called Celebrate New Earth. And my intention is to gather in circle with all of these lovely beings, these souls that are here today and will be coming to these um, to welcome um, a guest and to open and really weave this magic circle of what we're creating on this earth. I believe that we are in the new earth now, we're in this fifth dimensional energy, we're creating it with every moment, every thought, everything we do. So I felt like the earth and the plants and the elementals and all these beings were calling for this kind of weaving of a circle. So we can practice creating together, practice being together, be in circles of energy. And I know we're doing a lot of this on Zoom. So um, this is just another form of really honoring those subtle energies of nature, honoring our subtle essence within ourselves and taking that time to drop deeply in and honor the earth and honor the co-creative capacity that we all have. And I know, um, I'm just really thrilled to have one of my students. She's been, she's in my second year, Wendy Griffith, Griffin. And if you wanna just say hi, Wendy, so we can see you. Hi, everybody. How are you? Nice to have you all here today. And I really wanted to highlight some of the people who maybe are the quieter ones that are not always on the forefront and out in public so much because I feel that we're at a time now where we need to hear the voices of everyone, especially those that are doing the deep work with nature. And Wendy is one of those um, beautiful souls who has a very deep relationship with the plants, with animals, with the ancestors, and she's gonna share some work that we've been doing together. And also this amazing relationship that's blooming even more for her that she'll share about with tobacco. And I know for many of us, tobacco is such a, um, we may have a real complex relationship with it. I know our culture does. And often we carry that energy ourselves. This is a very sacred plant. It's a plant used to honor the ancestors, to connect with their spirit, to honor the lands. And yet it's also on the other side of the spectrum, part of an addiction culture, part of um, a culture of greed, a lot of other cultures. So it has such an amazing um, history to it. And I thought it would be such a beautiful thing for all of us to really explore that relationship with tobacco. And what is that spirit? One of my most uh, fulfilling things in my life is connecting and being with the spirit, the fairies, the devas of the plants. And so I know some of you may have done this kind of work and others this is new, but there's so much medicine, there's so much teaching, there's so much guidance we can receive and healing from being in relationship with these plants. And so Wendy's going to guide us in this beautiful process today. Um, so what I'd like to do right now, though, is just kind of get everyone settled a little bit. Um, I had a fun experience this morning preparing, or just when I woke up, I was just told, listen, listen. <laughs> and so my grandmother, Frankie, who's been dead for 45 years, but she came in, one of my ancestors, and she's with me a lot. And when I was a little girl, um, she was a heavy smoker, a chain smoker, right? And as a little girl, I hated the smell. It was like, bleh, right? And so I would steal her cigarettes and cut them all up. And so that was like my first relationship with tobacco. <laughs> and then later I traveled, you know, I started working with the essence, the flower essence, its medicine, its spirit, and then traveled with a native man who shared a lot of teachings with me um, about that sacredness through the 
Native people. And then working with Wendy opened this beautiful co-creation and connection with tobacco and how we could tune into that and her story and how she came to that spirit. And so there's been this beautiful weaving of healing and also a calling from her. And I guess for me to support that calling to really bring forward more of that spirit. What is that sacredness of tobacco? What is this relationship that we can have that it would love to have with humanity that has been distorted, especially in the US and the Western cultures. And so talking to my grandmother too, she, um, she gave me a little reminder and I thought, oh, this would be a nice way to start our, our journey today to kind of center ourselves together and open ourselves. So I just wanna start with a little tune in so we're all in sync and connected. And then um, I'm gonna in introduce Wendy a little more, tell you a little more about her, and then we'll go into um, more about tobacco, her teachings, and um, a beautiful meditation for the spirit of tobacco. So thank you all. I'm really excited for all of you to be here. We have some beautiful souls. Oh my gosh. Thank you for all coming. I just feel like all of you are such powerful souls. So I think this can also be a true blessing for that spirit um, of the plant. And to know that as plants, plants are such givers. They give, give, give. And what they tell me is they just want us our gratitude in return. They're willing to feed us, give us medicine, give us visions, all the different ways. Um, my door just opened, so I guess they're coming in here. Um, to remind everyone that as we go through this process, to just bring that deep gratitude you have for all the plants, and in particular today, to the ancestors and um, the honoring of tobacco. And just for a moment, I'd like you to sink into your own energy, arrive here together in a circle. We're going to be weaving this circle by connecting our hearts. Just going to do a little bit of drumming to connect with the heartbeat of each other and the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Connect into that crystalline grid of Mother Earth, the heartbeat of the spirit of tobacco, and then connect to the sun and the great central sun and source, crater, God, goddess, all there is above in that crystalline grid. And I'd like you to put your hand on your heart and just Bring your attention to your consciousness. Your body is here. And the message from my grandmother, Frankie, was our consciousness is unlimited. So imagine your consciousness as wide as the sky as wide as the cosmos or as large as the ocean. However you connect with your consciousness, I'm just gonna let it shine out as brightly and widely as you are. Feel your mastery in that expansion. I know that is who you are. And then I'd like to give our attention to the land where we are. We each are in different lands. And so this is a practice that I do and um, in my work with Earth School and for the honoring of the land. And I'm using some tobacco that I got from Wendy. And 
So you can do this for the tribes and the indigenous native people for where you live. If you don't know their names, just hold space for the tribes that you don't know the name of, but that are in your area. And so I'd like to acknowledge, respectfully acknowledge and honor the tribes of the lands where I live. I live in the lands of the Chinook, the Yakima, the Cowlitz people, and other tribes back through time who've cared for this land, been guardians and keepers. So if we can each honor that, those tribes in our area, and I'll put the tobacco out for all the tribes in all the lands where we are. And invite those ancestors that are healed and whole to join us in this process. And now I'd like to just say a little bit more about Wendy so you can know more about her. And, and then I'll hand it over to her. So Wendy is a nurse, an herbalist, and an energy healer. And she lives in Southwest Colorado with her horses, goats, sheep, donkeys, dogs, cats, and chickens. She's the founder and owner of Cedar Ridge Botanicals. She makes really wonderful healing salves, balms, facial creams and, creams and hydrosols, and I, I'll attest to that, They're amazing. All the plants she uses in her potions are grown or wild harvested by Wendy. And she's offering an online monthly class on opening your heart to the plants, which will be kind of a similar offering that she'll be doing um, through meditation. And you can find out more, I think I'll share that information to the group after, but through cedarridgebotanicals.com or through her email, which is the same at gmail.com. And just one more thing before I pass it over to Wendy is, um, I just want to thank everyone that gave donations for this. I am so appreciative. Um, this really is a free event and I just had this feeling like, oh, that would be nice to have any exchange of donation. And um, so a number of you donated. And then I saw from Summer and Catherine Cluse um, that there's the um, need by the Navajo people in the Four Corners area. And I thought, well, what a beautiful thing to take the donations that people made for this offering and give it to the people of the Four Corners, because this is where Wendy lives. And I just thought it would be such an honoring of the tobacco and the ancestors to, to circle back to the people of the land um, where she's from. So the donations that people have given um, will go to, um, it's called Direct Aid to Navajo Families. So it goes directly to the families in the Navajo Reservation that are being affected by COVID. And so, if that's something you want to donate to and you didn't get a chance, we'll give you that information too. Okay, so Wendy, welcome. And um... thank you, Camilla, so much. And thank you all for being here. And I am just, I feel really honored to be able to share um, this plant and how I've worked with this plant um, with you this afternoon. So thank you all for being here. And um, I'm going to, I just want to take a moment to honor um, my ancestors, the people from, of the Cherokee Nation. I'm originally from North Carolina, and some of my ancestors are Cherokee people. And I'd also like to honor the ancestors um, here in this area, the, um, the um, people who, um, you know, um, used to live on this land and called this land their own. And that's the Ute tribe um, here in Southwest Colorado and the Navajo, which are um, um, also in this Four Corners area. So I'd like to just honor and, um, you know, just express my gratitude to, um, to those tribes. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about 
um, more a little bit more about the Ute tribe as we move through um, this afternoon and because that's really how I came to work with this plant um, was through um, doing some land healing here on the property that I live on in southwest Colorado it's a 35 acre piece of land and where I have um, all of the animals um, and my family here and um, it was as I began working with Camilla several years ago it just became really clear that some healing needed to happen here on this land some things were happening with the animals and with the people that live on this land and it just became really clear that um, some healing needed to take place and so as Camilla and I um, connected in to the land here and to um, the spirits of the land, um, we began realizing that um, that the ancestors here were really asking for um, some healing. And um, so I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few moments, but I would like, I just want to start us out by um, sharing a um, prayer calling in the four directions and this is the Lakota prayer um, that was written by Vera Deary and it's a it's a prayer that I um, like to use every morning um, as I'm sitting down at my altar and um, just you know calling in my guardian spirits to work with me throughout the day and it's a very special prayer and I'd like to share that with you all as we get started I'm also going to share, um, I did um, create an altar for our session today. And so this is the altar that I created and it does have um, all of the, the sacred plants um, that are um, traditionally used by um, many of the native peoples that has sage that was harvested here on my property. Um, cedar, western red cedar that um, Camilla was so gracious in harvesting for me up in the northwest, Pacific Northwest. Um, sweet grass, um, which was a gift for my for a friend of mine who grows sweet, sweet grass. And then in the bowl here next to the water is tobacco. Um, and so all of the, the uh, many of the sacred plants are here in the altar today. And the bowl in the middle holds some spring water that we will be in a, in a little bit as we move into the meditation, I'll be placing some drops of a tobacco flower essence um, that I created from tobacco that I grew. I'll be placing that into the bowl um, and um, as we move into the meditation. So just take a moment to, as I, I'm gonna read this prayer and if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes and just move into a comfortable place. So get yourself um, into a comfortable place and just to be able to be open and to receive the words of this prayer. Creator, it is. Thank you for today's sunrise, for the breath and life within me, and for all of your creations. Creator, hear my prayer and honor my prayer. As the day begins with the rising sun, I ask, Spirit Keeper of the East, Brother Eagle, be with me. Fly high as you carry my prayers to the Creator. May I have eyes as sharp as yours so that I am able to see truth and hope on the path that I have chosen. Guide my steps and give me courage to walk the circle of my life with honesty and dignity. Spirit Keeper of the South, Wolf, be with me. Help me to remember to love and feel compassion for all beings. Help me to walk my path with joy and love for myself, for others, for the four-legged, the winged ones, the plants, and all creation upon Mother Earth. Show me it is right for me to make decisions with my heart. Even at times, my heart becomes hurt. Help me to grow and nurture myself worth in all ways. Spirit Keeper of the West, Brown Bear, be with me. Bring healing to the beings that I love and to myself. Bring into balance the physical, mental, and spiritual so that I am able to know my place in this earth, in life, and in death. 
heal my body, heal my mind, and bring light and joy and awareness to my spirit. Spirit Keeper of the North, White Buffalo, be with me. As each day passes, help me to surrender with grace the things of my youth. Help me to listen to the quiet and find serenity in the silences as they become longer. Give me wisdom so that I am able to make wise choices in all things which are put in front of me. And when the time comes for my change of worlds, let me go peacefully without regrets for things that I have neglected to do as I walked along my path. Mother Earth, thank you for your beauty and for all that you have given me. Remind me to never take from you more than I need and remind me to always give back more than I take. So just keeping the eyes closed for just a moment more, allowing those words to just settle in. And then when you feel ready, you can open your eyes and bring your attention back to the screen. And I'm going to share one more picture with you. And this is a picture of sacred tobacco. And this is a tobacco plant that I grew. Um, So the picture on the left is the plant growing in my greenhouse and the plant, the picture on the right is Um, some flowers that I harvested from the plant to make the essence that um, I spoke about a few moments ago. And I want to just share, um, I know as as Camilla mentioned a a little bit ago, and um, we might all have some perceptions or judgments about this plant based on um, the commercial use of tobacco. But what I'm going to be focusing on today, and I have that as well because my dad was a smoker, Um, And I just really quick, I'll tell a a story just about me and my history with tobacco. I grew up in North Carolina, which um, some of you may know is the tobacco state. It's called the Tar Heel State. Um, And um, tobacco was grown all around me um, as I was growing up. Um, And my dad was a smoker and I really hated it. So I had this interesting relationship with tobacco as a child and now to be called back to work with it as an adult, it was a really interesting um, um, experience. Um, but I'm going to be focusing not on the commercial use of tobacco tonight, but the, on the, some of the traditional and spiritual uses of tobacco. Um, and um, in what I've learned in talking to some of the natives and also studying this plant a lot in the last two years, um, tobacco was really um, it was it was used as a spiritual medicine um, by many of the native peoples. It was used for healing body, mind, and spirit. Um, it was often used in um, prayer um, as an offering to the earth, an offering to the creator and to other spiritual beings. Um, and it's smoke, and so not inhaling the smoke, but burning the plant. Um, The smoke was um, believed to be a medium for communicating and carrying prayers up to the creator. Um, The the natives, um, from what I have learned and and spoken to some of the natives here in this area, um, the plant was smoked, so it was taken internally as a smoke medicine, but it was often done in that way as a a celebration. bringing um, tribes together um, for um, kind of setting the the stage for clear communication. Um, The smoke was also used to um, cleanse spaces, to purify. Um, They used it um, as a blessing. Um, It was often used when an animal was sacrificed for um, food. Um, they would burn tobacco um, as an offering. Um, And so it was a really, it was a plant that was um, used often in ceremony um, and used, it was considered, if you gave tobacco to someone, it was considered a really special gift. 
Um, and so um, that's really, um, you know, how I've been working with tobacco is more in this traditional way. I'm, I don't, I'm not a smoker. I don't take it in um, into my lungs. I, but I do burn it um, to clear spaces and um, to make an offering to the land. And I've been um, making flower essences with it, which is just, it's a beautiful flower essence. Um, and so one of the things we're going to do here in, in just um, a few minutes, we're going to move into a meditation, a plant meditation. Um, and you'll, um, I am going to use, um, we're going to, I'm going to use a recording for drumming, which I think sometimes um, really helps you drop into the meditation. You can kind of think of it as um, more of a journey than a meditation maybe. So we're going to be journeying um, with the tobacco plant. And um, I'll give you a little bit more, a few more instructions in just a moment as we move into that meditation. But um, this, um, I want to just explain. So with commercial tobacco, um, often it's a, it's a different species of tobacco that's used. The picture that you see on the screen um, is um, Nicotinia rustica. So it's um, the common name is sacred tobacco or sometimes it's called Hopi tobacco. Um, but it is a different species of tobacco than what you find um, is used in, um, in commercially. There are many, many species of tobacco and this is just the one that I was called to work with. Um, and so when, um, when Camilla and I, just to give you a little more about how I was called to work with this plant, um, when Camilla and I were doing some healing work on this land, um, some of the ancestors stepped forward, some, some of the ancestors of this land stepped forward and wanted to participate in the healing work that she and I were doing together. And I was getting this message um, and I had never, I'd really never had a close relationship with tobacco before this, um, but in dreams and um, just in messages that I was receiving, I kept receiving messages to, um, that I needed to grow tobacco. And I thought that's really bizarre. <laughs> Why would I grow tobacco? Um, but um, I honored that this messages that I was receiving and decided, okay, I'm going to grow a tobacco plant and um, had a friend actually who had the seeds um, for this particular plant, um, Nicotania rustica. And um, so she shared um, those seeds with me and I began growing this plant and it just flourished in my greenhouse. Um, and um, I was so excited to um, to share this with Camilla. Um, and we, um, at the end of the season um, last year, I harvested um, some of the flowers to make a flower essence and also harvested some of the leaves to dry um, um, for, to make um, offerings to, um, to the earth and during ceremony and also to burn. Um, and so, Camilla, is there anything else you'd like to share just about um, the healing work that we did um, with my land and with tobacco? I just wanted to make sure I'm unmuting myself. And just to remind people if they could please mute themselves, there was a little bit of background noise there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I guess I just want to add that um, it was a powerful experience to, and a very humbling and honoring experience to work with Wendy in her land. And I was actually, we did it by phone. We did ceremony by phone a number of times um, because the ancestors um, kept coming in so strongly for her in that area. And there was such a calling. There was so many different tribes um, in that Four Corners area, and her her home is surround her land is surrounded by these really sacred ancestors. So it just felt like such a an amazing experience to to have 
that tool come through to work with them and use and to be part of that honoring because it it is such a connection for us to connect with those spirits and to honor them and even i guess just as a reminder why i wanted to share that like as humans now when we do connect with those spirits we give them so much healing and sometimes they need to be released from the planet um, some of them need to share their ceremony through the veil with us who honor it at this time. So the tobacco became part of um, this kind of medicine and this um, medicine woman that, that Wendy is. So I just wanted to share the power and beauty of that experience with her. Thank you, Camilla. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I, so I'd like to now move into a meditation. We're going to have, um, normally um, in a plant meditation, you might take some drops of the flower essence or have the plant um, with you. I'm going to be placing um, some drops of the flower essence um, in the water on the altar. And at Camilla, I know we'll be doing that as well. And so um, we'll just be, since this is a virtual environment, we'll just be inviting that, that plant spirit um, into this, this sacred circle that we've created today with all of you um, online, um, on Zoom. And so um, what I'd like to do is um, I'll be guiding you to just get settled and then um, inviting in the spirit of tobacco um, to step into our sacred circle and just to be able to offer any messages um, that it would like to offer today. Um, and I would invite you to use all of your senses as you sit in meditation with this plant. Um, notice if there's some smells that come up, a taste in the mouth, maybe there's some um, something visual happening, some images that come up for you. It could be something that you hear, a message that, that comes in loud and clear. And so it um, could be even um, something that you um, sense, something that you feel, a sensation that you feel either in your body or um, a touch or um, really it could be anything. I just invite you to use all of your senses as you sit in meditation with this plant this afternoon. Um, and then we're going to have um, some time for sharing. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about what that will look like um, once we do the meditation. So we'll have uh, 10 minutes and you will hear some drumming. And I would invite you just to get comfortable and close your eyes um, and just see what comes up for you um, as we um, sit with this plant this afternoon. So are there any questions before we get started? Um, just, to know, just so you know, if you do have questions, um, you can chat those in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and just speak up. Does anyone have any questions before we move into the meditation? Okay, all right, we're ready to go. Very good, so just, yeah, find yourself in, in a comfortable seat. And make sure you are muted so there's not any background noise as we sit in meditation. And I'm going to start a um, drumming. And um, so you'll just hear um, drumming in the background. And um, just allow whatever comes in to come in, and then we'll have some sharing at the end. Give me just a moment to get the drumming set up. Okay, here we go.
So start to allow your awareness to move back into the room that you're in. You can start to lengthen the breaths a little bit, bringing your attention back to your body and back to the space that we've created today. And we'll just take some time now to open it up for sharing. And so just sharing whatever it is um, that you'd like to share if something came up for you an image or a message or you have um, some previous experience with um, this plant that you'd like to share about um, we'll take about um, 10 minutes for sharing does that sound okay Camilla 10 minutes okay 10 minutes for sharing and then we'll have a little closing um, and so if you would like to share a couple of ways you Yoga Nidra meditation. Oh, hold on one sec. <clears throat> My um, YouTube channel from that drumming went crazy, so I apologize for that. Okay, I've stopped that now. So um, what I was saying is if you'd like to share your, uh, welcome to chat in the chat box. There's a little chat box um, down in the lower part of your screen. Um, so you can send a message that way or unmute yourself. Hi, this is Suzanne. Um, I'll start. Uh, thank you. That was beautiful. Um, felt very close to my grandfather um, during this one. Um, he is from North Carolina as well. Um, I have many, many kinfolk in North Carolina, uh, the eastern part. And um, during the drumming, I found myself standing in their uh, backyard um, on a street that I've just remembered uh, is called Seminole Trail. Um, of course, the Seminole Indians in that part of uh, North Carolina. But um, my grandfather was orphaned as a child and um, to survive picked, picked tobacco. Um, so this is part of our family story with this, with this plant. But of course, all the North Carolina relatives were smokers. Um, and, uh, you know, heartbreakingly worked in the industry as well. So um, anyway, I've been definitely called to work with this uh, beautiful um, being in a ceremonial way and just quietly uh, listening. So um, thank you for the closeness with my, with my ancestor, my pop-up. <laughs> that is so beautiful, Suzanne. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Uh, this is Karen. I also live in Southwest Colorado um, and I border Indian land also, the Southern Utes and the Hickory Patch. Jesus, I must either. And um, during the meditation, I have this beautiful tobacco ceremonial piece and so I reached out to um, touch it when we got part way through and I got a message from it that said I am the one who releases I am strong yet graceful I freely let go so that was very nice thank you Karen, thank you for sharing that. That's beautiful. Thanks for sharing that message. And I'm so glad that you're close by. <laughs> Does anyone else want to? Sh oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, my, my name is Jan. I, I live in Seattle, from Seattle, but I've lived in the kind of Northwest bioregion where tobacco does not grow. Uh, and I'm originally from Norway where tobacco does not grow. 
and I've been following kind of a shamanic lineage, which is really in my Nordic tradition. You know, I work with the Nordic gods and the nature spirits, but tobacco keeps on coming in and kind of tugging at my sleeve. Like it wants, you know, and I've been a smoker, you know, kind of growing up in Europe, you kind of, you kind of smoke your first cigarette when you're like 13, you keep smoking. Um, but what came in this time is that because the, the tobacco has been telling me that I need to learn how to use tobacco in ceremony. And I really don't do that ceremony. I kind of, you know, I'm going to give offerings, but it's from, a, you know, my, my Norse heritage. It's not, you know, tobacco doesn't, it doesn't feel right with me because it's not in my lineage. But what it came up with is that when I do healing work and do shamanic work afterwards to, to actually make a, a tincture of the tobacco or tobacco water and actually just put tobacco on this point right here, my uh, ankles and the back of my neck is like protection, protection and grounding. Um, because I was asking tobacco, okay, let, let's make this easier. <laughs> like, you know, how, how do I do this? So that's what came up. Um, yeah. So it was an interesting, it's a very chatty plant. I'm surprised. It, it wants to be known. <laughs> I'm like, you don't grow here. <laughs> <laughs> For this, is, it's been on my list of things to do to really sit down and get to know this plant and I just I haven't done it oh thank you for sharing that John that's it is a chatty plant um and from my experience with it I agree it wants to be known and um I'll just share one of the things that that's come up for me over and over again as I've meditated with this plant um it um you know, it um, can teach us, well, what came up for me today was just speak your truth, even if it's not what you think people want to hear. Um, and what's come up for me over and over again with this plan is go forward and strand, stand strong, even amidst adversity. Um, and, um, and we talked a lot about family. Um, this plant has shared with me in meditation before that it can bring its strange family together. And um, it actually did that for me. And I know, um, I think Camilla and I talked a little bit about this in our time together over the last couple of years. I had a kind of an estranged um, relationship with my dad. And this plant brought us back together because it was that um, we're using it in different ways, but it's um, it just gave us, um, you know, something to speak about and, um, you know, in a way it bring, and bringing us together. So um, I agree, John, it is a very chatty plant and it can, it wants to share a lot. <laughs> Anyone else have anything they want to share that came up for, about this plant? There's a comment here. <clears throat> this is from Paige, and she wasn't having very good reception. She's in Kauai. Um, so she's thanking you for doing this, Wendy. She just planted some tobacco seeds that are growing wild on a beach comber nearby, um, living in Kauai, but have grown tobacco in Oregon in their garden, in her garden and felt the protection and beauty, that it was such a gift. So it was a gift to journey with the plant again and, um, and see it in the different climates. So that was from Paige. Um, and I guess while I'm on, I just wanna share a little about my journey. Um, I could feel that spirit like really enter my body. It's often the way I work with spirits, like merging with them. And it just felt like this really deep, rich, delicious, like strong energy, like ancestor energy and spirit, but lots of deep, rich colors. And then, um, 
I was remembering I have used tobacco like in other plant medicine ceremonies. Um, it's often one you use to support you with the other kinds of plant medicines um, that I was working with. And then I, it kind of tied together the realization of what my grandmother was trying to teach me, the one that smoked all the time and now she's on the other side. She, her teaching this morning was really the same as what the tobacco was sharing. So I'm like, oh my God, she knew about tobacco even though she was like chain smoking and it didn't seem sacred at all, you know? That she was really tuned in. And I know I've heard this like in aromatherapy, um, some of my teachers in, in that, taught me about that it can really ground your astral body as well. So there's a lot of things that just smokers do because they need, they're very spiritual and they need the grounding of their astral body. So there's an interesting correspondence, you know, that crosses, brings spirit to all the uses of it in a sense. But anyway, it was just that my grandmother sharing that piece about really expanding your spirit and your consciousness was um, and it reminded me what other people had said too about really clearing, like moving away what isn't part of your expanded consciousness, releasing that and really being um, cleansed and cleared of anything that's taking you from that sacred spirit that you are. And it's interesting, Jan, talking about that lineage because I'm more of a Celtic lineage but I also feel called to a lot of the medicines because I'm here in North America it's like honoring what's here and trying to be appropriate for the culture of that and my own culture but the way we intersect and weave and learn from each other so yeah thanks for sharing that too Jan I'll hand it over if someone else has something Um, I just want to share that um, just this morning I was talking about doing a tobacco purge with a friend um, in June. Uh, that's how I met this plant, the Nicotinia bristica, um, as, as a tea that produces a blood cleansing and a purge. And um, in that journey, I started getting a lot of saliva in my mouth and I thought, okay, I think I need to do that. And, and two conversations about it in one day. It's quite unusual. I think I've gone a year without, you know, anyone mentioning it. And the same variety, you know. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that type of purge. It's a little intense, but um, I, I feel that the plant is supporting me in doing that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'd like to share. Uh, th thank you for that. And oh, and also your tobacco flowers are so pretty. And I had a vision at the end of it of them blooming throughout my the energy centers of my body. Mm, thank you, Samantha, for sharing that so much. Would anyone else like to share? I'll share a bit. Okay, go ahead, Ash. Uh, I had a very rich, very deep uh, journey. So I just wanted to thank you for holding um, abundant space for that. Um, not going to get into uh, specifics too much. I just really, really appreciated the energy of the plant. Um, Initially, I was quite surprised at being pulled upward. Many plants, when I journey with them, they, they pull you down into them. Um, and it was, it just had a really unique feeling of, um, yeah, just rising up. And I could feel the spirit just getting, you know, taller and taller, you know, just wanting to just continue to grow um, and expand. Um, um, yeah, that just it just felt really unique because um, I'm used to sort of falling in through the the tunnel of the earth sort of feeling into a lot of different plants. Um, 
it just uh, took me on a beautiful healing journey, um, mostly involving sort of a physical healing my throat and voice. Um, some beautiful imagery. I guess sort of the end actually, which was interesting, was a sort of um, anointing or, um, yeah, I don't have a different, it was involving the ancestors. I do a lot of um, ancestor work. I've been doing consciously for over three years now um, as part of my daily ritual work. Um, so it was just a really, really beautiful moment to kind of have all of this work I've been doing with the ancestors sort of culminate in this journey. Um, so I hadn't really felt comfortable working with tobacco um, until recently I'd been calling it in and I had yet to find a source um, that I really wanted to work with. Um, and I had looked into many different farms and so maybe yours flowers are, will be something I can also um, obtain. But, uh, Anyways, uh, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that, Ash. And, um, and absolutely, I'm happy to share, um, you know, some of the dry plant and um, the flowers and the flower essences. So um, you can definitely reach out to me for that. And, um, and I, I wanted to also share, I felt it in my throat throat chakra as well um and in the throat and so i just found um you know that to be interesting that you felt that also it's a very warm plant many have a very cooling energy so that was and again so it was just quite a uh, the polarity for mm -hmm. many other plant allies yeah And yeah, if anyone, um, you know, after we end the call today, if anyone needs to reach me or has questions or, um, you know, um, about this plant or about the plant meditation series that I have coming up, um, you can reach, the best way to reach me is cedarridgebotanicals at gmail.com. Um, again, cedarridgebotanicals at gmail.com. That's my email. Um, and I am going to be holding um, a plant meditation series. So like we did today, we'll be sitting um, with the plant, but you'll actually have the plant because if you sign up for the meditation series, I'll actually be sending um, the plant um, medicines out to you. So you have those to use during the meditation. So you'll be able to work with the plant. It's a six month series where we'll work with one plant for, each, um, for the entire month. And then we'll come together on a Zoom call much like this and just share our experiences and have a plant meditation together. Um, and so if you're interested, you can also reach out to me at that email. Um, so anyone else want to share anything? And before I, and I'll turn it back over to Camilla. And I did put the um, contact information in the comments, so people want to get it there too. So, well, I just feel like in such a beautiful sacred space with everyone and with our ancestors and the plants and um, just that they open such a beautiful space for all of us to engage so thank you so much wendy for that and bringing this spirit forward and spreading this the medicine um more deeply more fully in the on the planet so i wasn't sure if you wanted to do a little closing for that or if you wanted me to do that for the um spirit or i can do it yeah okay okay um, okay. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that um, we close our circle and complete. So I just invite, um, I know we've woven this beautiful circle with our ancestors and the plants. And just give our gratitude to all these beings that are with us today in the circle, weaving this new earth, celebrating this new earth, creating, co-creating together. 
these new relationships, giving our gratitude. Any medicine you received, you can really bring that within your own body, your own essence. Integrate that and carry that forward. Anything you don't need can just be shed, composted into the earth, and then we release all the spirits back to their perfect place, to all the directions, above, below. And thank you so much. Really grateful to have all of you um, beautiful souls join, joining me and Wendy on this journey this time. Um, we do have another one scheduled. Samantha, who's here, will be leading us in something. We haven't decided what, but I know it'll be really good. <laughs> and that'll be, um, I believe, June 7th. But I'll let people know in my newsletter um, so you can find out more. And then I'm also posting all of these on YouTube so you can um, listen and share them freely um, as part of the honoring of the new earth and spreading the magic all around. And if you want to learn more about Earth School, my site is camilloblossom.com, or you can contact me directly. And yeah, just really grateful for all of you. So thank you so much. Thanks, everyone.